What's up YouTube? System Psycho here. Back with another System Psycho vid. So, uh, <clears throat> if you guys have been following me for a while, and you guys are into games, then you may know that I have a complete Dreamcast collection. <clears throat> I have a complete US library, every game that have, has been released here in the US. Um, and if you're really into games and you know pretty much all the games that are in the library, then you know that the games that I'm about to show you are not part of the US set. So basically what I wanted to show you guys is that I ordered um, some, I guess you could say they're repros, custom made Dreamcast games. Um, they range from games being um, developed by indie developers from a few years back or they range from um, PAL or Japanese games only um, that never came to the US and so I have ordered um, some before and I've showed, I've showed them in one video but I, I, I ordered some new ones now <clears throat> before I show you these um, where I got them, I know I know somebody from the UK who does these, and he doesn't make money off of the games. Um, instead, what he has, he has a list of games. You choose from them, and he creates however 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 case you want. You can you can ask for a Japanese case, a PAL case, or a US case. Um, he makes the CDs. You know he makes his own covers. Everything. Um, so when you're paying for these games, you're not you're not paying for the game. You're paying for the labor and the materials, because these CDs and these CD cases and the art that he does and the prints that he does to make the to make the covers is in top notch quality. So he doesn't make money off of the games. Um, he only makes money pretty much off of just his time and the materials that it costs him. To make this so um, having said that I will leave um, his info in the description box if you guys are interested in that check him out he's a good guy and let's start with this first game so <clears throat> I was on this huge shooter like kick I really wanted to play some shmups and so he has a huge list of shmups so uh, the first one I decided to get was try zeal now this is just a regular um, shmup I the with this one it doesn't really bring anything different to the table in terms of shmups it's just your typical vertical shooter tons of bullets coming at you um, I, I believe you get like three weapons you can change them switch them up you get like a laser a regular shot or some missiles um, but other than that I really haven't seen anything that really made this one stand out but nonetheless you know, I think it, I still think it's a good shooter. I mean, to me, I, I'm I'm pretty biased. I think all shmups are dope. So, um, Trizeal is a good one. I believe. Um, I don't know where this one released. This may have been like a PAL or a Japanese. I, I can't remember, but it definitely did not come in the U.S. Um, and now I think about it, it may not even have come out for the Dreamcast. I, I don't know. I, I I didn't do too much research on that on this one, but. Um, like I said, uh, my friend that did this, the person that I know, he did the cover. He also did the back art, which I'm sure you've seen. You know, so it looks just like a North American Dreamcast game. Alright, next game is, I believe it's pronounced Karos. Karos, I don't know. Um, this one's pretty cool because it's actually a cell shaded shmup. Never really seen those before. I think those are pretty cool um, and you actually have like a cool little like green sword swipe type of thing that 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 you can use as a weapon um, so this this is actually pretty unique I, I heard uh, this is actually one of the better shmups this is what like really recommended among people in the gaming community um, I really love the cover of the two feathers um, of course if you can see that it's a uh, you know, all, all custom made, really nice. I'm actually show you the disc. You know, the disc. I'm sure I'll be, I'll be putting up footage of that. Um, so that one's that one's probably the, my favorite shmup of the ones I got. So the next 
shooter shmup that I got. I believe it's pronounced Siberiar 2. Um, I thought this would have been the best one to get. It looked the dopest because you're actually kind of like a robot flying, but maybe I haven't played it too much, but when you start playing, like you hold the shoot button and you shoot like little pellets and you start spinning, but then sometimes it stops. I don't know. I haven't really gotten into it. Maybe I have to play it a little bit more to really grasp what it is, but um, it's still a cool shooter, man. I believe this one only came out in Japan as well. Um, and part two, I've never even played part one. I don't even know if there's a part three. But yeah, this one, this one's alright. Check that one out. This next one is um, a game that was made a couple years ago by indie developers, specifically for the Dreamcast, and it plays more like R-Type, so it's like a side-scrolling shooter, and that is uh, Stormwind. Um, this one is actually pretty fun. The only thing about this game I didn't really mess with is that you run out of the, your weapons, and you don't know. Or maybe I haven't found out, but you really... There's no indicator of when you're going to run out of your weapons. And so, other than that, I mean, the game is top-notch. It, it's really good graphics. The music is really good. The music is what stands out the most to me in this game. And it's really fun. So, you know, again, Stormwind, this was... This never released back in the Dreamcast days. This was made specifically in pretty much a couple years. You know, this was made specifically for today's like era so that you know you, you won't find this from back in the day the very last uh, game that I got um, it's not a shmup it is a shooter it's like a running gun and that is Gunlord similar to Stormwind this was made by developers um, a few years back um, and it plays exactly like Turrican it's pretty dope um, and when I mean exactly, I'm talking about exactly like Turrican, dude. You can do, you can turn into a ball. You have like this type of ray gun. You can shoot. It's 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 exactly like it. But I like Turrican. I think Turrican is awesome, and this game is dope. Um, you know, again, the cover was made by by my friend Gary. You know, made it. Everything looks top notch. I'll show you this one as well. The disc, everything's good. Works perfect on the Dreamcast. So, that's it. Alright, so that's it. Just want to show you guys those Dreamcast games. Um, again, if you're interested, check out the, the description box below for the information if you guys want any of these games. Um, again, I totally recommend them top-notch quality. And just tell them that System Psycho sent you. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Keep the Dreamcast alive. One of the best systems ever. And the N64 sucks. One. One. Hey.